how to build muscle mass fast at home without going to the gym or lifting weights is a common question among the majority of people. Weightlifting isn't suitable for everyone, but if you are looking for a method to keep active and grow your muscle, it may seem like the only option that you have, but there are more several options to consider. And I gonna tell you something. You can gain muscle mass without using weights, which is a fantastic news if you are seeking home exercises without equipment or some exercises to do in your backyard or in your local park or at the beach without lifting weights. But you are worried and anxious about the outcomes. In actuality, any exercises performed using only your body weight may be equally difficult and effective as weightlifting. All you need to do is to learn how to adjust them based on your current fitness level and then alter them when you become stronger. And according to this study in 2021 from the International Journal of Exercise and Science, it turns out that bodyweight workouts are beneficial not only for muscular growth, but also increase cardiovascular fitness when it's done in a difficult tempo. I guarantee you that you can build muscle mass and lose fat and get the best shape and achieve the thinnest physical condition of your life without even walking out the door if you follow the tips that I gonna measure in this video. So let's dive in. The first thing I want to start with is try to raise the level of difficulty. Push yourself during a body weight exercises until you are enabled to complete another rep. But if you can complete 15 reps continuously, it's time to switch up to another challenging exercise. Exercises that are more challenging are more demanding on your muscles than repeatedly performing an easier exercise. For example, you may begin with a wall push-up or a knee push-ups if you are not completely qualified for the floor push-ups. And when you master these two exercises, go to standard push-ups. When that seems simple, try pushing up while raising your arm or your foot to make them more challenging. The second one is taking interest in plyometric exercises. Our muscles not only must be big, but they must also be forceful and powerful. Plyometric training is useful in this situation. The level up be a plyo push-ups or a club push-ups rather than just performing the standard push-up. The next stage might be a jump squat rather than a normal squat. Bodyweight exercises have numerous variants and progressions and require no weight. According to a meta-analysis study in the Journal of Sport and Science in 2021 that examined 21 study over 500 participants, found that plyometric exercises increases in your speed as well as in your strength and discovered that jumping training improves running economy and sprinting speed. And before moving to the next one, try to hit that red subscribe button followed with by the bell icon to never miss a bit. So the next one that you have to do is to add resistance bands. According to this study in 2015 from the Journal of Strength and Conditioning, look at us at the outcomes of six reps of bench press with six reps of banded push-ups. In conclusion, the strength improvements were comparable. Does this imply that bench press is worthless and push-ups with bench resistance is useful? No, but there is still a lot you can do with only your body weight and extra resistance bands. The next move is to add liquids to the containers since liquids are generally heavy. Anything with liquid may be used as weight for your workout. You can utilize weights like water bottles. Lift your children instead of lifting weights. Playing with your kids while exercising is a quietly entertaining way to add weight to your routines. Give your child a piggyback ride while performing exercises like squats, for example. And obviously, you should be cautious and keep a tight grip on your child. The child will absolutely love it. With your child on your back, you could even perform push-ups. Try always to make your own weights. You can ask your wife or your girlfriend to ride on your shoulders when doing squat, but not both of them at the same time because that could be a big, big problem. Be innovative, there are always a method to increase the resistance. Put on weighted clothing is another way to increase your weight while working out. For instance, you can use a weighted vest or a backpack loaded with a bottle of water or heavy books 
or weighted ankle straps. The added weight provides more resistance, helping you build more muscle. The next one is increase your reps and decrease your recovery periods. The idea here is to work harder and do more by taking fewer breaks. If you start a new workout or program in week one and can complete 15 reps in exercise in 30 seconds, continue into week two to finish a few or more. The next week, consider to reducing the recovery period times from 60 seconds to 45 seconds or from 40 seconds to 35 seconds. Experiment with different angles or exercise variations. Exercise variants provide two main purposes. They provide alternative if the movement causes discomfort and can assist you in tapping into the muscle fibers. A normal push-ups, for example, would strengthen the chest, shoulders, and triceps. The diamond push-ups, on the other hand, will indeed put a greater focus on the triceps. This variance might help cover the gaps or the spots of weaknesses when attempting to grow stronger. The next one is a switch between the limbs. Many workouts need you simultaneously utilize your left and your right arm or legs. But if you use just one, you'll train that limb muscle harder, which will help you gain more muscle. When performing workouts that use both limbs, such as pushing yourself up with only your left arm and then just your right, alternate which limbs you use. How about using only one limb at the same time, like doing a pistol squat, one arm chin-ups, and one arm push-ups. Yeah, it needs some balance, but it definitely makes it more demanding and helping you bike up. Last but not least, employ slow motion. It's getting more and more common to work out in slow motion. Make an effort to give each rep a complete eight to 12 seconds in a positive and five to seven seconds in negative phase. Avoid pausing in the top position and resting in the bottom position. Instead, transition and move easily from the positive to the negative. How many chin-ups you can perform while maintaining a gradual and continuous tension? Definitely not many, because the pain is so great. That's it for today. Guys, this is Dr. Ishaq. If you enjoy watching this video, don't miss to click on the red subscribe button, follow it by the bell icon to make sure that you never miss a bit. And if you have any questions about exercise, diet, health, and everything related to fitness, just let me know in the comment section. God willing, see you on the next video.